All right, so now we are going to start exploring the E in STEAM, which is engineering. And like I said in the last video, we are going to be exploring not only just engineering concepts, but also some technology concepts as well, because you can see that they're all, they're all going to be heavily related together. So this first tool that we're gonna be talking about involves a little bit of coding. So the device that we're going to be looking at is what's called a Makey Makey. And there are a variety of tools like this. This is one that I just find to be really user friendly for my students and it allows them to explore a variety of things. So basically what it is, is it's a little um, electronic circuit that does need to be plugged into a computer device. There are some devices that will be compatible for different um, different tablets and things like that. You'll just need to look into them. But it's a coding device that allows students to kind of look at their artwork in a little bit of a different way. It can, it can hand, enhance the user or viewer experience, which we'll talk about a little bit. But first, before we get into how we might use that in our artwork, let's understand um, a couple of basic things when we're talking about this. So. When it, when it comes to this, there's electricity, we learn about circuits, there's coding that's involved, but one of the things that we have to have in order to make this work are conductors, okay? So there are, in the resources, there is a, a handout that is called 12 Conductors to Try with the Makey Makey, and we're gonna explore some of these and I'm gonna show you exactly what this means. So graphite is a really good one to use because we're using it with pencil all the time with our students. Anything that's metal like paper clips, aluminum foil, copper tape, um, water is actually a conductor and it's not gonna like electrocute anybody, so it's okay. Um, fruits and vegetables, People are conductors, which is really cool. Um, things like soda cans, wires, um, gummy worms, slimes, really, these, I mean, this is just 12 things on here. These are things that you can have um, your students explore. Is this a conductor? Is it not a conductor? Um, it's a great way to then, you know, kind of pull in some of those science concepts as well. So um, let me explain to you the basics of how this device works. So I have it plugged into my computer here and I'm using a coding program that is called Scratch. So when it's very, this, this program is developed by MIT, but it is made for students. It's made to be um, really user friendly, talking about some of the basic coding concepts in a, in a way that's not complicated, in a way that your students can actually understand. So um, if you, if you have ever done higher tech coding before, you'll know that a big part of it are if then statements and sequences. Um, this has the same same concepts, but it's put together in a very um, in a very user friendly way. So if you're looking to introduce coding in a little bit, this is a great way to get started. So. I have um, Scratch pulled up here on my computer and I already have a project made. So if we were to go back here, I've clicked this project and I'm gonna name this Candy. And you'll see why here in a second. Um, and then I'm just going to click See Inside. And in it, you could set up a template like this for your students or have them um, go through and look at it. So one thing that you'll see here is this can be connected to your computer. So it could be used by the computer or it can also be controlled by this Makey Makey device. So for instance here, you'll see at this top one, it says when the space key is pressed, it gives it a command and it's going to start the sound that says Skittles pouring. So I'm gonna press the space bar on my computer and you're gonna see that the sound will initiate. Okay, so that's how that's controlling it there. So now, if I, on this um, Makey Makey device, you will see that there is a component that says space. So that is the space bar, if you will. So I'm gonna take one of these um, clamps and I'm gonna put this here. So then anything that I have connected to this is going to tr trigger whatever command I have in place 
for the space bar. Now, looking at here, you could change these to anything. Up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, any letter on the keyboard. You can do a variety of things with that. So um, these, can get really comp these can get really advanced and intricate um, for your students. So there's so, so right now I'm just showing you the, the bare bones, the basics. Um, but your students could really look into this and explore this, OK? So before I um, direct this to our drawings, I just want to show you how these conductors work. So on here, what's going to happen is I'm going to clamp this to the conductor, which in this case is the graphite. So I'm going to clamp this here. On the Makey Makey device, there is a component that says Earth, and that's like what's grounding it, OK? So I, as the user, need to hold this clamp. So then when I just touch, so I'm not touching anything else other than this graphite, I'm holding this here, you'll see that it triggered that sound to play on the computer because that's how I coded it to do. And that's what the conductor is, OK? So when I said that you could do, like humans could be a conductor, Let's say I was holding this, but I had a class of seven who were all connecting their hands or something like that. I could have a student, student one might be holding this, but student seven, if they're, all of their hands were connected, he could come in and touch this and it's gonna trigger that sound to go, okay? So let's take a look at some other things. So things like electric paint can be a conductor. So same thing here. I clamp here, I hold the earth. Um, clamp here and then I'm just going to press it with my finger, it's going to prompt and create that sound. Doesn't matter where, and it does need to be hooked up to the computer for that just so that you can hear the sounds and do that. So other things, so we have copper tape, same thing. I clamp the conductor there, I press it, and there we go. So some of the cool things to explore with this is let's say, um, you know, what's the purpose of this? Why would I do this? Well, yes, it teaches your students some really cool basic coding concepts, but it also can um, just allow students to add an element of a way that they want to express their work through technology. Okay, so one of the cool things about these conductors too is we can actually make them a part of the artwork. So whether that be um, taking a little paper clip and cutting it small and pressing it down where you want it to go, um, you can make it part of, of the artwork. So it doesn't have to, now how I have it right now with this all, you know, that doesn't look really nice or part of it, but you could fix it up so that it is. Maybe it's just a little piece of copper tape that you put there. It could just be the graphite. Um, it could just be adding a little bit of the drawing onto it. But you just have to make sure that you have the, um, the clamp onto it, okay? So, for instance, maybe I want to have this gummy worm be a part of the drawing, this candy drawing that is here. So you could put this here, and um, I'm going to clamp it to here, and this is always fun for students to see that it works like this, okay? So, as I go in, you know, it's located by the Skittles, you want it to be interactive, you come in, you hold the sound, you press it, and we have that Skittles pouring sound coming out. So it just adds a little bit of a different element to it. Um, another option that you can do with it. So let me show you here. Um, so on the inside of Scratch here, you have the option to do different sounds. It doesn't just have to be different sounds. You can do some other things on here where movement would happen. Um, you really, like I said, this is the basic outline that you can kind of go for this. So here we can record something. So you can record any sound. So I go in here, and you can see I haven't pressed record yet, but you can hear my voice. Um, so one of the things that you can do is, let's say I want to record a candy wrapper sound to go along with the candy wrapper that's here. So you just simply press record and create whatever sound you want. So I stop recording. I save that sound. Um, it's always good to name your sound so that you can keep track of everything. Okay, so then when you come back to the coding portion of it, I can come back here, find that sound that I just did. 
So then this time, I'm gonna switch, and so you can do multiple of these at once. So if I take this here, I have this coded so that it's when I press the down arrow. So I'm gonna put that on the down arrow clamp. And then I create another conductor. So let's say I use, I could use another gummy worm. I could use any, any of these. Um, so this is colored pencil and not regular graphite. So that's why I'm not using that there. But I'm gonna put another little gummy worm here. Hold my earth one. And then we have that candy wrapper sound. So then I could continue and I could then press this one. If I press it again, this one, the, ha the sounds are gonna start occurring at the same time. So it can kind of be this really, really cool experience that um, adds coding and all of this together. So it's just a way that you can um, take these basic elements of using this device and enhancing the art experience by making it more interactive for your viewers.